Amen. Amen. Glory to Jesus. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. Bless the Lord. Oh, my soul. Hallelujah. Praise God. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Praise God. It's another day. Amen. Praise God. That's it. On the 21st of January, 2015. Amen. Praise God. It's another day the Lord has made. And another day to be blessed. Amen. Praise God. Another day to turn away from your sins. Another day to serve the Lord. You know, praise God. That's it. Glory to God. Men are still alive on the face of the earth because they still have a chance. Amen. Praise God. That's it. That uh, if God wasn't, uh, didn't have uh, any mercy or, uh, amen. Praise God. If he didn't have any mercy upon uh, people, amen, that they have a chance to uh, convert and hear the word of God, amen, they would have gotten, they would have got rid of people a long time ago. I would have been gone a long time ago. Amen, praise God. It tells you in Lamentations chapter uh, 3 that it's by his mercies we're not consumed. Amen, praise God. Hallelujah. Glory to praise God. That's it. Glory to praise God. So, amen, he's a just God. Amen, praise God. He's going to do what's right. You know, praise God. Glory to praise God. I'm going to sit there and he's going to punish you for your sins and he's going to uh, uh, reward you for uh, Doing righteous, I mean, when you are walking and abiding in His Word, you know, praise God, when you're abiding in Christ, you know, praise God, glory, praise God. I mean, that the Bible says, amen, that's it, that uh, He's not uh, unrighteous to forget what manner of love we have shown, uh, bestowed, uh, shown before Him, you know, praise God, said, bestowed before Him in Hebrews, you know, praise God, said, glory, praise God. So that's it, praise God. So God's not unrighteous, you know, to forget what manner of love, you know, praise God, said, glory, praise God. You know, the Christians, I mean, that's it, uh, they're. Uh, very unrighteous, you know. They forget, uh, uh, you know, that, that uh, you know uh, that uh, the word of God, you know, praise God to, you know, to do what the Bible says. You know, they're very uh, forgetful of uh, the uh, love of God. He says that he loves everybody. Well, that's not what the Bible says. You know, praise God. Jesus said, "If a man loves me, he'll keep my words." They're my Father and I we'll make our bold in Him. You know, praise God. He didn't say there. I'll make my bold. My Father and I. So you don't hear these things. You don't hear these words because they have ears to hear, cannot hear, eyes to see, cannot see. And praise God, they're blind and led by blind leaders of the blind. And that's it. You know, praise God, this is what we got. A blind leader of the blind scenario out in today's churches instead of uh, the word God preached. I mean, praise God's reality. You know, praise God, of course, praise God, uh, that uh, we have all these uh, blind leaders out there who are teaching people, leading people into all sorts of uh, unrighteousness, all sorts of iniquities, all sorts of uh, pervert gospels, all sorts of uh, whatever. You know, praise God, it, but praise God, glory, praise God, we're here to lead you into the truth. You know, praise God, to walk even as he did walk. I mean, praise God, according to the gospel. I mean, praise God, I was supposed to preach yesterday, but, uh, you know, I got too busy and uh, doing things forever and I wasn't feeling that well. But, uh, you know, praise God, it's that uh, it's this uh, time of year where the weather keeps changing. Uh, you know, praise God, glory, praise God. But nevertheless, you know, praise God, I still kept on preaching on Facebook and, uh, Keep up the preaching, you know, praise God, it's it. And, of course, people don't like uh, my answers, that's it, because I preached against their homosexual marriage that they had uh, Mr. Obama last night on the TV, and he's talking about his uh, uh, lesbianism and uh, homosexualities and bisexuals and everything. Well, these people, I know I tell them all the time, they got to clean up, because uh, these people are going to be joining their ancestors in uh, Sodom and Gomorrah, and then the same ancestors will be joined uh, with uh, the flood of Noah, because every evil man, thing a man was doing, uh, in his heart was done under the sun uh, before the flood of Noah. You know, praise God, that's it. And uh, uh, Jesus said, be the more tall in the day of Sodom and Gomorrah than it will be for us because we got a Bible. I mean, we know better. You know, it said that uh, it's an abomination for mankind to lie with mankind. That God made, made uh, one man, one woman. You know, praise God, he didn't make two women, he didn't make two men. He made one man, one woman. So, I mean, praise God, that's it, that uh, they could produce. You know, praise God, that's it. With the promise of Christianity, I mean, that's it, that they're producing, uh, I mean, uh, uh, raping the wrong thing. You know, praise God, that's it, they're producing bad fruits. I mean, for God, they're producing, uh, you know, that's it, uh, bad doctrines, doctrines of devils and seducing spirits. You know, that's it, that, uh, you know, today they try to, you know, uh, endorse these people and God loves everybody and you can't judge and all this stuff. Well, that's not what uh, Jesus said. That's not what the Bible says at all. You know, for God, that, uh, you know, that, uh, what Jesus said is that uh, you love one another as I love you. He's talking to his disciples. You know, for God, he wasn't talking to the homosexual who doesn't want to get cleaned up or the drunk out there who doesn't want to clean up. You know, for God, I said, when I preach the word of God and I tell him you got to clean up, you mean you got to repent, you got to get washed in the blood of Jesus, you got to be born again, and people don't want to do it, and they just want to rebel and kick get Jesus against the prince. Well, I have no time for them. I have no love for those people. You know, for God, glory, praise God. This is what Christianity is, what the world gets messed up in because they don't read the Bible. They listen to funny preachers. They listen to Bible school philosophy and philosophers and theologies and rudiments of the world, not after Christ. You know, praise God, glory, praise God. This is what, you know, that's it. The eyes of the Lord are upon the righteous. You know, praise God, his face against them that do evil. You know, praise God, that's it. And at the eyes of the Lord, you know, that's it. Uh, you know, when he sees you in your sin, he's looking at your sin. He's not looking at you, he's looking at your sin. Amen, that's it. And uh, there you go. You know, praise God. And, uh, uh, amen, praise God. And if you don't want to convert and turn away from it, well, that's it. You know, it's, it's, uh, his uh, love is not upon the bastards, but it's on the sons. You know, praise God, that's it. So, you know, when men don't want to turn away from it, well, that's it. Look, ask King Solomon. His uh, guys could see his eyes was upon King Solomon.
Solomon and in serving those gods, making those gods and, the, uh, and, and building those gods to those abominations to the nations around that God said not to do. And he warned them twice in a dream. God could see this going on and Solomon didn't want to turn away. Now God's face is set against him for evil. You know, praise God. Now he turns back on him and he's now put his face against him for evil. You know, praise God that sitting in his kingdom was rent. You know, praise God. Uh, you know, praise God. Uh, the only tribe of Judah was saved. You know, praise God that sits in uh, the other tribes of Israel went their own way, and they had Judah and Israel for the longest time, uh, back and forth. You know, praise God, glory, praise God, man. You know, praise God, and this is what, you know, is uh, face against to do evil. You know, praise God that said that all men, you know, that's what Jesus said, that uh, all men uh, should uh, believe on the Son. You know, praise God, said, praise God, so glory, praise God, man, said, so that they can uh, convert from darkness, and then praise God, uh, from the power of darkness, power of light. And he that believed not the Son, you know, that the wrath of God abide upon him. It's reality, you know, praise God, glory, praise God, man. That's why that uh, people out there who preach the gospel, you know, that's it, that they want to give me, they're angry at me. Well, they're not angry at me, they're angry at Christ. You know, praise God, they're angry at the Word, they're angry at themselves, because because this is who they are. You know, praise God. They're looking at a mirror and they don't want to see themselves in the mirror. They don't want to see how ugly they are. You know, praise God. Because sin is ugly. It brings death. It brings uh, unrighteousness. You know, praise God. Glory, praise God. It brings everything. And this is what's uh, happening in the churches. We got a lot of death in the churches. We got a lot of sin in the churches. We got a lot of Sunday school. We got a lot of philosophy. A lot of doctrine. I mean, a lot of uh, uh, false teachings. A lot of pervert gospels. Uh, so gospel superfluity and naughtiness. I mean, a lot of uh, dead gospels. And no signs following them. You know, praise God. Jesus said that these signs shall follow me. Shall follow them that believe on me. No, praise God. They shall raise the dead and they uh, shall cast out demons. They shall drink a deadly thing, uh, heal the sick. You know, praise God. Glory, praise God. And uh, that's it. These signs shall follow them. You know, praise God. And Paul came along and this to say, you know, what you see and, and, and hear me, that do. You know, praise God. Glory, praise God. So there you go. Glory, praise God. And that's it. That, uh, you know, praise God. We got uh, signs following us. You know, praise God. So long as we're in the Word. You know, praise God. Say, glory, praise God. But when you're outside the Word, when you're not doing what the world wants you to do, having a cup of, that, that, that uh, cup of booze or that a sip of booze or that shot of whiskey or whatever or shots or cups or whatever that the world wants you to drink and have well forget you know praise god that's it you're you're no longer uh, uh inside the, the sheepfold now you're outside there with the drunks you know praise god so you gotta repent unless you turn around today you know that's it uh, you know that's it and uh, sometimes we do need a good lesson you know praise god that's it that uh, you know sometimes that uh, we uh, born again you know praise god that's it we uh, do need a good lesson because sometimes you know we go off uh, uh on our own uh, accord. I'm not talking about sinning. You know, we're not talking about uh, uh, sinning. You were talking about, uh, um, you know, we're going being chastised because we go off. Uh, we do uh, what uh, there's a way that seems right unto a man, but all the same ways is death. And sometimes we go on our own ways because we think it's right. It sounds good. It feels good. And it's uh, at the end, you know, it's death. You know, God tells you, around, okay, turn around shh, as far as you go. You know, so that, uh, turn around because uh, yeah, if you go any further, that's it. You know, you're going to go over the cliff. You know, praise God. Says, so that's why it's going to chastise the sons you know, to tell them to turn around. Praise God. And we don't turn around and uh, do what the, the warning tells us to do. Well, that's it. That's when it becomes sin. That's when uh, that's why a problem of Christianity. They don't know the difference between. Uh, uh, what sin is, and what chastisement is, and uh, so forth and so on. No, praise God, foolish, praise God, later. So that's it. You know, if you know to do good, and you don't do it. To him, it is sin. No, praise God. You know to turn around, and then you don't do it, and then to him, it is sin. You know, so this is the problem with Christianity is that uh, they don't uh, understand the Bible. They don't want to even read the Bible. And that's it, praise God. They'll rather go out to the bookstore, amen, and buy some books by Billy Graham, buy some books by uh, uh, those funny t uh, preachers like David Mains and all those funny preachers on TV uh, instead of uh, uh, getting into the Bible. And you know, praise God, getting a good dictionary. Glory, praise God. And then it's a, it's a reality, you know, praise God, glory, praise God. But nevertheless, you know, praise God, the foundation of the Lord stands short. The Lord knows them that are His. You no, know, praise God, it's sick, Lord, praise God. So are you His or are you uh, uh, the devils? You know, praise God, you got to be either the, uh, uh, drink from the cup of the Lord or the table of devils. You can't serve two masters. This is what Christianity is trying to do, serve two masters. They, they say they can't stop sitting, using the scriptures uh, to their own destruction, twisting the scriptures, wrestling with the scriptures, They're using a uh, past tense scripture to verify a, a present tense uh, word. Well, you can't do that in the in the Word of God, you know, praise God, it's that uh, you can't uh, verify or use the past tense scripture for a present tense word. I mean, praise God, it don't work that way. You know, praise God, that's it, glory, praise God. My uh, English teacher would mark me wrong, and uh, that's it. Uh, she would mark me wrong, uh, saying, you know, like, what's wrong with you? You know, don't you know that uh, ED is past tense? Why are you using it as a present tense? You know, praise God. So I've talked to somebody that uh, I uh, talk to every so often, and he's one of those uh, Trinitarians, uh, those uh, abomination gospels, the ones that uh, uh, that uh, turn uh, uh, the glory of God into a uh, corruptible man, you know, praise God, that, uh, you know, so when the Bible says that God sent his own son in the likeness of sinful flesh, you know, that's it, uh, but anyways, uh, the, 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 these people believe that Jesus is God, and, uh, you know, whatnot, they, they, no, no sense of reality uh, whatsoever in those 
those gospel snookers got sick. That, that uh, you know, I remember when I got saved, people were trying to throw those scenarios, and it sounded pretty bit convincing. It sounded pretty good. But then the more I read my Bible, the more I start understanding my Bible. You know, the scriptures that they're using that they're basing themselves on, I can see they obviously don't understand the Bible. I mean, praise God, says so. Praise God, so. I mean, they sound pretty good. You know, uh, that uh, he shall be called. You know, the, then they actually then I start reading it. And it says, hey, wait a second. He shall be, not me shall be, or I shall be, he, him, you know, he is him, I is me, you know, so there's a difference in the uh, language, you know, praise God, so glory, praise God, so what's wrong with these people, I don't know, that uh, then they try to use John 1, that the word was with God, and the word was God, and, you know, it sounds pretty convincing, it sounds pretty good, you know, the word was God, and, you know, it sounds like a, a, a pretty convincing gospel, but then I read it, and then uh, with the eyes of the, of the Holy Ghost, and then wait a second, this is a metaphorical way to talk about who Jesus is, amen, praise God, because uh, Colossians chapter 1 can back me up on that because the word made, you know, praise God, it's a metaphorical way because the next verse scripture says that uh, nothing was made that was made, you know, all things were made by him by the word, praise God, so this is what, uh, you know, that uh, 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 that uh, they don't understand is that, you know, the one is a maker, one's a creator, you know, praise God, one's, uh, uh, one's uh, an engineer and one's a, a worker, you know, praise God, so this is what uh, uh, people don't understand uh, when we read the Bible, you know, praise God, they understand uh, uh, their own uh, ideas and their own ideals, uh, but they don't understand the Bible. This is uh, the reality uh, behind uh, what's uh, going on out there. You know, praise God, that, uh, look at the TV preachers. You know, praise God, that they're robbing God every day. And you rob me, said, Lord, we're robbing tithes and offerings. You know, praise God, they got these false teachings, false teachers, and then using feigned words, you know, speaking evil, the truth. You know, how many teachers, how many preachers out there don't believe the King James Bible anymore? They said, don't read that King James. It's this and it's that. Read my perverted Bible, missing 3,000 words, and read my, uh, you know, read my perverted gospel and if any man uh, shall uh, add to gosh that the plagues arisen in this book any man should take away gosh take away as part of the holy city so praise God says no liars can enter the kingdom of heaven so praise God that's what the, what's going on you know praise God they're robbing God you know this in tithes and offerings and in, uh, in the word of God as well praise God so I mean, this is in Paul says that you should not be soon shaken in mind by, by letter from us or by word from us because we didn't write these letters they come from man but uh, they're going to say they're from us when they're not from us you know praise God of course praise God but Paul knew what he was talking about he was a highly educated man and he counted all by dung that he may win Christ you know praise God so now, you know, first God, the Paul, you know, is it uh, being the chief of saving sinners? And then, first God, not the chief of making sinners, saving them. He's the chief of saving them because Christ came to save sinners, of whom I am chief. Not the chief of making them, but the chief of saving them. You know, first God, but first God is this reality. You know, first God, yeah. I was, uh, you know, uh, first God, uh, uh, busy uh, as well, uh, you know, preaching uh, as well, uh, you know, uh, uh, to other people on Facebook and, uh, you know, like about the different uh, people, those Hollywood, especially those Hollywood Gospels, those, you know, God's Not Dead, those dead uh, carnal movies that uh, man has out there, and uh, forget it, you know, first guys, this is what they are, dead carnal movies, you know, God's Not Dead, you know, you got to be dead in order to go to those Hollywood movies, because this is what the church has offering to you, because they have no faith to get in the Bible, no faith to do what Paul says, be followers of the Lord Jesus Christ, no faith to do what does say the Lord, no faith to read the Bible, you know, first guys, said the guy that enough faith to go to Hollywood movies, working with Hollywood and uh, uh, to uh, give uh, people a pervert gospel, uh, uh, pervert ways to give them a Hollywood ending, you know, that it's okay to be a sinner, it's okay to be this, it's okay to be that, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, because, okay, you know, this talk is Hollywood says so, and Hollywood makes it so great, you know, just like uh, the devil did with Eve, making the tree so great, making the tree so wonderful and, and, and so nice uh, to look at when she was told not to touch it, you know, and this is uh, what the Hollywood is great for doing, you know, for it's got to pervert minds, to take the minds of the young people, and to give them that, uh, that, uh, that, that those feelings, you know, praise God. I was uh, to talk to somebody uh, that uh, they, to bring you this, uh, this Dr. Jerk or Dr. Jerk or whatever his name is, you know, or, or writer of books, you know, praise God, uh, writer of uh, various uh, uh, books on Christianity. And uh, so what a scenario that is, you know, praise God. Ever learning and ever able to come to the knowledge of the truth, the Bible says. You know, praise God, that, that uh, this uh, Mr. Jersk, uh, you know, that's it, a writer of books, PhD and whatnot, and, uh, uh, you know, with his unbelief and so forth and so on, and this and that and so forth and so on, we'll forget it. You know, praise God, says, Lord, praise God. I told these people, hey, you know, we're told to be followers of the Lord Jesus Christ. You know, praise God, not to be followers of a Mr. PhD or Bible school preacher. You know, praise God, that's it. If any man consent not to hold some words, even the words of our Lord Jesus Christ, he is proud, knowing nothing. And this is what we have out there, people proud, knowing 
nothing because you don't read the Bible. You just take scriptures like a cafeteria. Like I told this one guy, he said, you know, you got a cafeteria gospel because you go to that church called the Church of Misconception because you just pick and choose whatever you feel like. You know, for God, like a cafeteria style gospel. And this is what uh, churches have for the doctrines, the uh, doctrine of devils, the and spirits. Uh, Peter says uh, in uh, Second Peter chapter uh, one is that no prophecy of the scriptures for any private interpretation. Uh, Paul told Timothy in the latter days some shall uh, uh, depart from the faith, giving heed to doctrines of devils, the and spirits, having itching ears. Uh, you know they're going to heat themselves, preachers. You know, praise God, it's reality. Glory to God. But uh, praise God, we got to get into the Bible, the Word of God, the King James Bible. Praise God, whatsoever you shall ask in my name, that I'll give unto you. My words abide in you. Praise God. We got to get this word by you. And praise God. And this afternoon, you know, praise God is uh, two seventeen p.m. You know, praise God being this, uh, a son of God. You know, praise God, glory, praise God, and also comes from a long line of preachers uh, who've. Uh, I doubt uh, even if they preached even one tenth of what I got. You know, praise God, the King James Bible. You know, I got uh, relatives that are preachers, Presbyterians. Uh, I'm a, a cousin to the people from the movie A River Runs Through It. And uh, let me tell you, Presbyterian gospel is not the way. You know, praise God, is it uh, trying to uh, be a Presbyterian, a good Presbyterian, a good church member, a good Catholic? You know, they're all Catholics. They all still have the same Christmas trees, the same Santa Claus, the same unbelief, the same pumpkin, the same Mother's Day flowers, and same unbelief or whatever. You know, praise God, they're all still the same cross. And still the same, uh, you know, so now they're all going to the Pope and the Muslims, you know, that's it because they all like to talk about God, but never about the Son of God, Jesus Christ. So, I man, praise God, this is what the reality is out there that uh, uh, we, we face out there every day. You know, praise God, that's it, that uh, man out there don't uh, at all care to read or understand the Bible. You know, praise God, that's it, uh, so that's it, so praise God, so, man, that's it, that's my cousins, I don't know, like, uh, how much uh, they know that uh, from Bible school or from Bible uh, theology and seminaries and cemeteries and whatnot, I mean, they have, have told them the truth, you know, from day one, you no, know, praise God, this is where still some of them are stuck in the nicotine and the cigars and whatnot because they haven't been told to present your body living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God, and to get rid of that because we're born again, you know, what it takes to be born again, you know, praise God, glory, praise God, that to get rid of sin, you know, praise God, you know, I mean, uh, they, 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 they've, uh, only talk to you know various things so that they won't offend people you know as it uh, not to offend people well forget you know Jesus said that uh, that uh, you know, that uh, that all, that all men should be offended to me you know praise God Paul says that all they live God, those live God in Christ Jesus you know praise God shall suffer persecution praise God says glory praise God Jesus preached about this in the parable about the uh, seed and the sower and he talked about uh, people uh, you know uh, being uh, offended you know praise God those who are under rock and for a little while and then when uh, time of persecution and offense happens they're going to just uh, Wander away, and that's it. And this is what we have out there. You know, people wander away because they don't want to be persecuted, they don't want to be harassed, they don't want to be bothered. You know, praise God. Well, that's uh, the way of the world. That's the way the devil works. He's the prince power of the air, and he's going to try everything because he wants you back. And he'll try everything he can to get you back. You know, praise God. It's the glory of God. But he knows he can't have this son of God back because the devil knows. Amen. That's it. He's trying everything he can, but he knows that I know the word. He knows that I know my Bible. You know, praise God. He knows that. You know, praise God. says Christianity tries to come up uh, against me and try to preach whatever gospel that they got. You know, but it won't work. You know, praise God. That's it. Uh, you know, that's it. Praise God. That's it. That's it. Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. And praise God. That faith without works is dead thing. Oh, praise God. So if it's in the word of God that we have to work out our own salvation, well, that's it. You know, praise God. People want to cancel the Bible with Bible. Forget it. You can't cancel Jesus with Jesus. You can't cancel God with God. You got to do what the Bible says. Praise God. Praise God. You know, God don't cancel himself. He cancels out your sin. He'll cancel out every denomination, uh, unbelief, and faith that's out there down the street. He'll cancel out the, the whatever religion down there. And then, praise God. The word of God will cancel all that. The worldly. And then, praise God. Cancel out the Carnal and bring in the spiritual. I mean, praise God, glitch, glitch, praise God. I mean, praise God. I was preaching about the eyes of the Lord. For the eyes of the Lord run to and fro throughout the whole earth to show Himself strong on behalf of them whose heart is perfect toward Him. Here and thou was done foolishly. From there, from henceforth, thou shalt have wars. Praise God, hallelujah, praise God. So it says right there that the eyes of the Lord run to and fro throughout the earth to show Himself strong on behalf of them whose heart is perfect toward him, praise God. No. Christmas wrong Christianity. You don't have a heart that's perfect toward him. Oh, nobody's perfect. Only when it's perfect was died on the cross. Well, hang on. The one that died on the cross spoke words to you. He said, be therefore perfect as your Father which is in heaven is perfect. He said in John 17 that we'd be perfect in when? Amen, praise God. Then, amen, praise God. Job, even before the one that died on the cross, you know, praise God. Uh, Job was a perfect man. Noah was a perfect man. King uh, Hezekiah, you know, I served you with a perfect heart. You know, praise God. Glory to praise God. It's just it that, uh, you know, praise God. That's it. So we're told, uh, you know, that's it, that uh, perfect uh, perfection. You know, praise God. God told uh, Abraham, you know, uh, walk thou before me, be thou perfect. And uh, Genesis. 
verses uh, uh, 18, no praise God, and we read about in Deuteronomy chapter 6, I believe, it's uh, uh, chapter 8, uh, it says, Thou shalt be perfect with the Lord thy God, no praise God. So, I mean, what's wrong with these Christians is that they don't read the Bible. They'll, they'll accept and they'll swallow every tongue and everything that man has to uh, say, and uh, and God says, okay, I will melt you as uh, as, uh, as silver is melted, as gold is melted in the furnace, you know, and it's it, uh, I'll melt you, I'll blow my fire my wrath upon you, because you did not at all want to take heed to my word. You know, praise God, and so you don't want to take heed to my son, well, the wrath of God is going to be abiding upon you, taking vengeance on them, to obey not the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. And praise God, said, glory praise God. That's the people with cancers, that's the people with uh, uh, with all types of curses and all types of uh, uh, of ways and drugs and uh, smokes and uh, whatever, you know, praise God, and all types of uh, uh, drinking and murders and all types of, uh, of uh, problems out there. And then, praise God, that's it, uh, that's the sad type of people because uh, they did not want to take heed to the word of God, they did not want to uh, get into the word of God, they did not uh, at all want to uh, change their, from their uh, wicked ways, they just want to continue in sin, and this is the result of sin, the first God is the death that's working in people, you know, first God is, uh, you know, that's it, uh, Paul says that uh, my flesh will have no good thing, you know, first God, and this is what's happening, this is that sin worketh by, uh, by me, you know, first God, as it said in Romans chapter 7, you know, first God, that's it, uh, uh, it says right here, let's uh, give you the uh, scripture here in uh, Romans chapter 7, first God, that, uh, Lord, first God, man. that, it says uh, here in uh, Romans uh, chapter 7, you know, praise God, that's it, that, uh, uh, that uh, verse, uh, 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 that, uh, for know that is in me, that is my flesh, to have no good thing, for the will is present with me, but to perform that which is good, I find not. For good that I, I do not, but the evil which I would not, that I do. And this is what sin does. It's a killer. Amen. It's, it's, it, you know, it's, it's a killer. No, praise God. It's it that, uh, you know, it's it that, uh, that's in me. That's my flesh. Twelve, no good thing. That's why you're going to pierce your flesh. So you're going to uh, tattoo. You're going to stick needles. You're going to stick drugs. You're going to stick whatever smokes it into it or whatever to, to, to keep your flesh. Because I mean, sin is what it does. It's, it's a killer. It works inside you. It's a killer. Amen. Praise God. Amen. And the final resting place is death. You know, praise God. It's, but how you get to the grave? Are you going to be a drunkard? Are you going to be a smoker? Are you going to be a, a, a fornicator, a, a murderer, uh, a uh, whatever, how are you going to get to that grave? You know, blessed and holy see I have part in the first resurrection, because the dead in Christ are going to rise first. I mean, John says, the dead in the Lord. No, praise God. Paul uses the word, the dead in Christ shall rise first. Praise God, glory, praise God, Leah. So how are you going to get to that grave? How are you going to hit the, the grave? Are you going to hit it in your sin? Are you going to hit it uh, with iniquity? Are you going to hit it uh, head on? Are you going to meet uh, Jesus head on uh, in your sin? You know, that's it. Uh, you're going to face the judgment seat of Christ. And the Bible says that all must face the judgment seat of Christ. No, praise God. So it's, 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 it's reality. No, praise God. So if we hit the judgment seat of Christ head on in our sins and our trespasses. Well, that's it. You know, praise God. That's it. Uh, Jesus said you're going to just going to taste the taste of heaven that you missed because, you know, praise God. God won't let anybody go you know, or, or anybody uh, to. Uh, uh, march off the face of the earth to die, you know, until they heard the gospel, you know, praise God, that's it, the Bible says in uh, Proverbs 29, he did often have been reproved and hardened, if his next shall suddenly be destroyed, not without remedy, praise God, so how many times could it be, could be one, you know, I've called, and you did not hearken, I will laugh at your calamity, I will not mock you, and your fear cometh in Proverbs 1, you know, it could be one time, it could be five times, it could be a dozen times, or whatever, you no, know, praise God, it's praise God, but Paul here is talking about Romans 7, about his sin when he was a sinner, because he's saying that, uh, uh, that, that, uh, but now we are delivered from the law that being dead wherein we were held, not when we are still held, we were held, that we should serve in the newness of spirit and not in the oldness of the letter. What the letter? Letter the law of Moses. First God, the letter killeth the law of Moses. I mean, first God, the what law? What uh, what letter? You know the law, that, uh, the letter of the Ten Commandments. First God, because the letter killeth. That was the law of righteousness. First God, the law of sin and death. You know, first God, you were a righteous Jew back then, because these were just a shadow of things to come. Now Jesus came with the new law, the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus, set me free from the law of sin and death. First God, glory, first God. I was preaching on uh, uh, the uh, internet, uh, uh, Zello. Uh, you know, first God, I. I uh, stop preaching on that because there's just so much uh, abomination gospel out there and you just don't have a chance because these people will kick you off very quickly once you start preaching the truth because the demon spirits I mean, they don't want to hear this truth and you're just wasting your time wasting my breath when talking to these people uh, I was uh, preaching on this uh, Zello website and uh, praise God uh, that uh, they were uh, uh, telling me that uh, you know that's it uh, how do you know your way is right well because I read my Bible praise God glory praise God I understand my Bible how do I know my way is right I don't have no funny Greek book here 
to follow me to say I must read the Greek book and understand all these Greeks and Hebrews when I no longer Greek and Hebrew understand that I can understand my Bible. You know, praise God, glory, praise God. And that's why Jesus said, you know, praise God, that says, they have eyes to see, cannot see, ears to hear, cannot hear. That's the any time they should be converted. You know, praise God, these people are compassed to sea and land to make one proselyte and they're shutting up the king of heaven. You know, praise God, that says, that's what these people are doing. They're shutting up the king of heaven and they're not opening the gates. No, they're just shutting the gates and shutting the gates and shutting the gates. And this is what man has for gospel. It's a shut out gospel. And you know, praise God, that says, man are shut out and they're shut out. You know, praise God, that's it. And uh, the uh, gates are shut out. Uh, so, anyway, so this is what the kind of gospel that uh, men are involved with and endorsing. And uh, man don't mind that kind of gospel uh, because uh, this is uh, what uh, uh, that uh, the, uh, the the uh, the they they love their darkness, as she said. This is what a man loves the darkness more than the light. You know, praise God. That's this is what man. Uh, you know, that they have to awake out darkness. You know, this is Isaiah, Isaiah says, awake, awake out know, darkness. But man, you know, praise God. They love the gross darkness. They love their darkness. They love to, uh, you know, their, 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 their drinks and they love their smokes and their fornications and murders and drinks at the bar and certain walking with the guys and walking with the sports and walking with the world instead of walking with the word. You know, praise God, glory, praise God, Leah. And uh, the eyes of the Lord upon those people and since those people aren't going to convert. Those people aren't going to do what, uh, what, what he wants them to do. You know, praise God that uh, my, my words not return unto me void. You know, praise God, and he sees those people. Well, now my face is going to be against you for evil because you people don't want to convert. You people don't want to take heed. You know, this is the word. You know, this has been preached. You know, praise God, and say, you people don't want to do what uh, the say the Lord, praise God. I was uh, on the internet and uh, they were preaching about, or talked about, I should say, on uh, CTV News here, the Canadian Television News, uh, that, about uh, hockey moms and ho hockey dads, uh, you know, so forth and so on, that uh, they're talking about um, how they uh, were uh there was hockey moms and hockey dads, and they're going nuts buying their kids, you know, thousands of dollars worth of hockey equipment to look like Wayne Gretzky or look like uh, 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 Maurice Richard, you know, the Rocket or uh, whoever, you know, Prince God, Daryl Sittler or whatever, uh, uh, you know, Prince God, uh, not even Fittler, Daryl Sittler, S I T T L E R. So, you know, Prince God, uh, uh, and uh, that they spent all this money and that they had to uh, block uh, the hockey association, had to block uh, the way because his parents, you know, going overboard because the church uh, of the hour with the carnal mind, you know, instead of, you them with the truth and tell, tell them the difference between the holy and the profane instead of taking these people and say this is not the way to live you know, these uh, people uh, cannot make heaven the way they're living they're endorsing them these people they're endorsing their ways you know they're endorsing the ways of the world and the Bible says we're not deathers to live after the flesh and these people are living after the flesh living after the, the church and living after the sports living after the uh, uh, the uh, the bars looking after whatever because the church goes there and the people will go there and when the church goes to movie theaters the, the, the people go to movie theaters and when the, when the church goes to the Bible, the people don't understand the Bible, I and mean, that's it, and that's why they'll, they'll rebel and they'll kick against the Bible because the church, you know, that's it, that the, the church, uh, uh, you know, you know, don't understand it either. You know, praise God, that says you're no better than your master. You know, praise God, Jesus didn't preach that. You know, hey, you said you're you're no better than your master. You know, praise God, that uh, so this is uh, the scenario that we have out there that people are no better than the masters. I mean, the churches are no better than the preachers or went to Bible school and get bewitched. And Jesus said that you uh, shut the kingdom of heaven against them. You know, praise God, because you know that you're entering in. Not yourselves, you know, praise God. Once they hear this Bible preached, they hear this gospel preached by this man of God, they know that they can't enter in themselves, you know, praise God, close for God. So it's, it's, it's reality, you know, praise God. So, so when I preach the word of God, they'll preach, preach the Bible. Uh, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's hard to find believers, you know, praise God. So there's a lot of unbelievers. You know, I can find a lot of unbelievers, but to find believers is very rare, praise God. That's why Jesus said, straight as the gate, narrow as the way, few shall find it. Because the broad way, the way that leads to Broad is the way, is way you know, that's going to lead to destruction. You know, that you can find lots of unbelievers. You know, I could just put up a rock concert and I would have 50 million people uh, around uh, uh, Alberta and Canada to show up here, no problem. But I mean, as soon as I post it, I'm going to be preaching the Word of God with the state of the Lord, like Jesus did in John 6. You know, uh, to whom shall go, thou hast words of eternal life. They don't say that. You know, praise God. They just, uh, you know, it's a hard saying. Who could hear it? They'll just walk away and they'll walk away because they're not interested in the gospel. They're not interested. It doesn't interest their soul. doesn't interest uh, anything. You know, first God, first God, come there. But uh, you know, first God. But the eyes of the Lord are always upon you know the righteous. You know, first God says, but uh, you know, first God. So is it upon you, or is it upon your sin? You know, first God. Well, God loves the sinner, but not the sin. Well, where's this in the Bible? You know, so they they they, they, uh, they teach you and they say or they affirm. You know, first God. It says there's no such scripture like that. You know, first God. When God destroyed the uh, sin, he destroyed the sinner as well. You know, praise God. So when he fled the earth, he didn't just dis he fled sin, he fled sinners. Praise God. Because sinners around to make the sin. You know, praise God. There's no sinners around. There's got to be righteous people. You know, praise God. Uh, 
being made free from sin, you become the servants of righteousness. Praise God. So the air is not going to sin. And praise God, the, it's the, uh, the demon spirits in people. Praise God, that's uh, floating around in the air like, uh, that, uh, uh, that gets into people. Praise God, it's going to cause them to sin. Praise God. But there's no sinners around. There's righteous people around. Well, that's it. You know, praise God. Says, so the man says, he's not going to destroy that, but he's going to destroy the sinner because the sinner is around to produce the sin. You know, praise God. It's like, praise God's reality. You know, praise God. It's what the problems of Christianity. They don't work with reality. They work with Hollywood. They work with their flesh. They work with their filthy uh, doctrines. They work with their dead works of faith instead of working with uh, the gospel of Christ, the King James Bible. You know, praise God. It's reality. Not question. Praise God. Yeah. Amen. Praise God. And let's look here in Acts chapter 5. But a certain man named Ananias with Sapphira, his wife, sold a possession, and kept back part of the price of his wife also being privy to it. But a certain part laid at the apostles' feet. But Peter said, Ananias, why have Satan uh, filled thine heart to lie to the Holy Ghost and keep back part of the price of the land? Whilst it remained, was not thine own? After it was sold, was not thine own power? Why hast thou conceived this thing in thy heart? That was not lied unto men, but unto God. You know, it says so. You know, Peter wasn't there when Ananias and Sapphira was uh, doing this, but uh, you know, praise God, the eyes of the Lord was. You know, praise God, that's it. And the eyes of the Lord could see it. And now his face is against him to do evil. You know, praise God, it says now. You know, that the Lord could see that uh, Ananias and Sapphira was up to no good, and that's it. Using uh, Peter as a tool to speak. You know, praise God for the Holy Ghost. You know, praise God to tell them. You know, his sin and his sin has found them out. Praise God. And uh, Ananias, hearing these words, fell down and gave up the ghost in great fear came on all them that heard these things. You know, praise God, glory, praise God. Uh, you know, praise God, that, uh, I wish that would happen today. You know, praise God, great fear. You know, that's it, that the people, rock concerts, uh, Christian rock concerts, would just all of a sudden drop dead right there on the spot because thou hast lied unto uh, God because you're just uh, robbing God. So if you're tithes and offerings, praise God, you're just robbing God, you're robbing them. You know, if you're fake uh, and you're following rock concert, you're trying to say it's not worldly and that because uh, we don't do drugs. Well, there's the devil knows all the way to get the drugs through, no problem. You know, praise God, they don't, they don't do drugs. So what's the difference between uh, a worldly and not worldly? You know, praise God. So we're not at all told to at all endorse the world. He's a friend of the world. It's enmity toward God. Glory, glory to praise God. The Bible says, so praise God. So this is, uh, you know, that's it, that uh, God's eyes was upon and as far as you could see that he was up to no good and that he uh, wasn't going to uh, break off from that and he was going to continue you want to move his plan? Well, that's it. You know, praise God, my face is against him to do evil now. He's going to drop dead, you know, upon the hearing of uh, Peter's words. Praise God. And I heard these words, fell down, gave up the ghost, and great fear came upon him that heard these things. And the young man arose and wound them up and carried them out and buried him. And it was about the space of three hours after when his wife, not knowing what was done, came in. Peter answered and said unto her, Tell me, whether ye sold the land for so much? And she said, Yea, for so much. Oh boy, she, 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 uh, Told the truth. Yeah, how's this guy know? Uh, wait a second. Uh, uh, you know, this, uh, how's this guy know uh, we sold the land for so much that we sold the land for fifty thousand dollars or whatever? How's he know? You know, praise God. We'll be sure your sin is going to find you. Out, praise God. How's he know? Because the eyes of the Lord run to fro throughout the earth, showing on his behalf whose heart is perfect towards him. Praise God. And so he sees what you're up to. He sees your iniquities. He sees what you're up to. He's looking at your sin. Well, that's it. Be sure your sin is going to find you. Out. And this is what Peter, you know, praise God, the man of God, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, gave him the answer. Praise God. Peter said for. How is it that ye have agreed together to tempt the Spirit of the Lord? Behold, the feet of them which have buried thy husband are at the door, and shall carry thee out. Then she fell with she down straightway at his feet, and yielded up the ghost. And the young men came in and found her dead, carrying her forth, and buried her by her husband. You know, praise God. So there you go. Glory to praise God. Says, so there you go. So their sin has found them out. Praise God. Glory to praise God. And as I said, you know, praise God. This is what's found them out. Is their sin has found them out. The eyes of the Lord could see all this. And then praise God. And that's it. And that's all of a sudden, boom, their sin has found them out. Game over. You know, praise God. It says, have a nice day. You know, praise God. Says, because now, you know, praise God. It's, 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 it's uh, their uh, sin has found them out. And, uh, uh, and nice and so far as, you know, praise God. That's it. Boom. You know, praise God. That's it. Uh, they're, uh, uh, you're gone. You know, praise God. That's it. So when you don't obey the word, Lord, that's it. His eyes are upon you. You can see what you're doing. You're seeing your iniquities. Well, now his face is against you to do evil. Praise God. Now, praise God. Let's see, you know, how, you know, the face of the Lord was against to do evil against another man, a king, you know, praise God, King Herod. You know, praise God. Glory, praise God. Let's look at this in Acts chapter 12. You know, praise God. Uh, verse 1, Now about the time Herod, the uh, king stretched forth his hands to vex a certain of the church. He killed James, the brother of John, with the sword. Uh, see, now he killed James, the brother of John, not the one who wrote uh, James, but uh, the uh, uh, apostle James, so praise God. So, and because he saw it pleased the Jews, he proceeded to take Peter also. Then were the days of unleavened bread. 
And when you apprehend them, you put them into prison and deliver them to four quadrants of soldiers, keeping them and tending them after Easter to bring him forth to the people. Now, wait a second, it doesn't say to bring them uh, after Passover, after Easter. And you praise God. So this is, this is why Easter is an abomination, because it's where uh, Peter, the man, the guy that uh, got uh, killed, uh, right there at Easter. You know, praise God. You get killed at, uh, uh, at Passover, you got killed at Easter. You know, praise God. That's what the Bible says. Easter. You know, praise God. says, glory is coming there. So now let's stick with the Bible, praise God. So glory is God. Peter, therefore, was kept in prison, but prayer was made without ceasing. The church God for him. When Herod brought him forth that same night, Peter was sleeping between two soldiers, bound with two chains, and the keepers there before the door kept the prison. And behold, the angel of the Lord came upon him, and light shined in the prison. And he smote Peter on the side and raised him up, saying, Rise up quickly. And his chains fell off from his hands. Praise God, glory, praise God. It just reminds me of King Saul, where he was in a deep sleep. You know, praise God, that's it. The, there you go. Or the, or the keepers of, the, of uh, setting the watch over the stone, they were in a deep sleep. And all of a sudden, now the stone's rolled away, and uh, Jesus is no longer in the tomb. Now, where is he? Now that we've got to come up with a scenario. Oh, see, they also, they, they were, he was stoned in the middle of the night, and these guys were sleeping, and they weren't paying attention. So, you know, I said, they'll give them their, their final uh, paycheck, so to speak. Uh, you know, that's it. They were killed. You know, these, 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 these people watching the, the, the grave, you know, praise God, said, because they weren't doing their job. They were falling asleep on the job. You know, praise God, working security. And when you fall asleep on the job, that's uh, game over for your job. You know, praise God, especially in late shifts. You know, praise God, man. Uh, and he says, Is that need to uh, him, gird thyself and bind thy sandals? So he did, and he saved on some cast like garment about thee, and followed me. And he went out and followed him, it was not, it was true, which was done by the angel, but he, but he thought how he, but thought he saw a vision. And when they were past the first and second ward, they came into the iron gate, which was in the city, which appeared, uh, which opened unto him his own accord, and they went out and passed through one street, and forthwith the angel departed from him. And when Peter was uh, come to himself, he said, Now I know surely that the Lord has sent his angel, and hath delivered me out of the hand of Herod, from all the acceptation of the people of the Jews. And praise God, glory for his God. And so that's it, glory for his God. Uh, praise God. So uh, let's get down here to uh, uh, verse 18. It says, it's that, uh, Now as soon as it was day, there was no small stir among the soldiers, but it was kind of Peter, uh, Peter. And when Herod had sought for him, and found him not, he examined the keepers, and commanded that they should be put to death. And they went down from Judea to Caesarea, and there abode, and there abode, and praise God, so glory to God, so there you go, praise God, so, amen, praise God, so now, you know, so the bunch of posters are after Peter, you know, praise God, the hair's looking for him, you know, praise God, he's got the whole police force looking for him, and he's nowhere to be found, why, because, you know, praise God, when God uh, takes care of you, praise God for Christ, when, as Jesus said, if uh, God knows how to uh, feed the sparrows, and uh, the, uh, uh, birds of the air, how much more shall I clothe you? Or you little faith, you know, if you know how to clothe the grass or the field, how much shall I not clothe you? No, praise God. So God knows how to take care of his own people. No, praise God. Glory to God's reality. Glory to God's reality. He knows how to take care of his own. No, praise God. Because the Lord knows them that knows them that are his. No, praise God. He knows the difference between the sons and the bastards. No, praise God. Turn on the TV, you got bastards. You know, turn on the TV, you got pervert uh, gospel. You know, turn on the TV, you got perverts. Gospel perverts. You know, go to church today, uh, you got nothing but uh, tears. You know, praise God, you got nothing but. Uh, uh, the terrors out there, and this is what denominations are terror. You know, and tearing at your soul, tearing at your pocketbook, and then tearing at, uh, tearing at, uh, tearing at whatever. But not, not all telling you the truth. You know, praise God, enough about terrors. You know, praise God, this is in Matthew uh, chapter 13, it's reality. You know, praise God. Yeah. Now, this is, uh, you know, that uh, the eyes of the Lord was upon this. Uh, you know, could see Herod, you know, that's it, uh, killed James, you know, that's it. Uh, and uh, and he wanted to kill Peter, and uh, first guy, he saved Peter, you know, first guy, so he could write the, his uh, wonderful uh, epistles, first and second Peter, and uh, continue on with the book of Acts, and continue on with the Word of God. You know, first guy, fulfilling the scriptures as Jesus told uh, Peter what's going to happen to him. And then first guy, glitched, first guy, and said, that wasn't the way that, uh, that Peter was uh, supposed to die. You know, Jesus said, you know, that's it, Peter, you know, that's it. Uh, uh, when thou art old, you know, that, that one shall gird thee. And uh, uh, how to say there in uh, John, you know, first guys, that uh, Peter, uh, Jesus prophesied about uh, Peter's death here in uh, John chapter uh, uh, 20, uh, uh, John 20, uh, 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 John chapter uh, 20, uh, uh, 1, he says it's that, uh, I'll give you the right scripture here, first guys, it's that, uh, Uh, he said, uh, Feed my sheep, verily, verily, say unto you, verse 18, When thou wast young, thou girdest thyself, and walkest, whither thou withest. But then that when thou shalt be old, and thou shalt stretch forth thy hands, and another shall gird thee, and carry thee, 
Withers, thou withest not. The first guy so and so, so first guy. So Peter still had a lot of age now. First guy was still a young man, according to the Lord. First guy because he was uh, saved out of prison. He wasn't at all uh, crucified on the cross. And they, uh, the story goes they crucified him upside down and became the pope or whatever. You know, it's uh, an abomination what these uh, uh, these people come up with. You know, these Jesuits and these priests and these nuns. You know, first guy that fit the the the, the uh, ministry of the devil, the devil's ministers. You know, first guy instead of being the prophets, evangelists, pastors, teachers. You know, uh, uh, pastors for perfecting the saints. You got all these uh, uh, things that have nothing to do with the gospel. Nuns have nothing to do with the gospel of Christ. Popes have nothing to do with the gospel of Christ. Uh, uh, Jesuits have nothing to do with the gospel of Christ. No, praise God's reality. No, praise God. So we're called to be high priests, not these people. Praise God, they've been called to a strong delusion to reach the 200 holy fathers. Praise God. But uh, get back to a scene here in Acts chapter 12 that, you know, they said that the eyes of the Lord is upon all this and could see all this and now his face is against him to do evil. Praise God. So he could see that Herod, you know, what Herod did. He could see what happened and now now his face is against to do evil, and then that's it, because God is just, and then that's it, and he's going to do judgment, and he's going to do a righteous judgment, because God's not going to judge and do whatever, uh, you know, that's injustice, no, he's going to do judge, <coughs> righteous judgment, I, the Lord, love uh, judgment, praise God, that's why that you have in uh, uh, Hebrews chapter 12, what people can't understand about Hebrews 12, that throne, oh God, you know, to the Son, he saith, uh, the, the throne of God, because the metaphorical way to talk about who the Son is, because he's got a throne, oh God, you know, praise God, so God, you, the Father, uh, having thrown out the sun, but it's a metaphorical way to say, you know, hey, you know, the, the throne of God, you know, first God, the, you know, it's not saying the throne of God, the Father, no, the throne of God, you know, first God, and, uh, uh, you know, first God, it's a metaphorical way to say, you know, that now he's the uh, one in charge, you know, first God, this is, and he's just comparing him with God met metaphorically, first God, it's a metaphorical way of comparing him uh, with uh, the Father, that uh, now he's in charge, and, you know, the throne of God is the righteous scepter, thou hast Love righteousness and hated iniquity, praise God. This is what uh, Hebrews uh, chapter 1 is trying to tell you. It's a metaphorical way, but a lot of Christians uh, mess it up because they don't read Hebrews 1. They just pick and choose like a cafeteria. You know, praise God, goes for his kind of But here we see the eyes of the Lord, and uh, now his face against Herod for evil. And Herod was highly displeased, and was tired and sit on, and they came at one accord to him, having made bl a blast this, the king's chamberlain, their friend, and desired peace because their countries was nourished by the king's country. You know, praise God said, and upon a set day, Herod arrayed a, a royal apparel and set upon the throne and made an ordination unto them. And the people gave a shout, saying, It is the voice of a God and not of a man. Immediately the angel of the Lord smote them and gave not God the, the glory. And he was eaten of the worms and gave up the ghost. You know, praise God, glory, praise God. So there you go, praise God. So immediately the angel of the Lord smote him. You know, praise God, smote Herod, praise God. That's it, because, uh, because he gave not God the glory and he was eaten of the worms and he gave up the ghosts, praise God, so, praise God, so the lies, the Lord, you know, finally can see it, now his face is uh, against him to do, do evil, and that's the last drop, <laughs> that's it, right there, it was just, uh, uh, there you go, praise God, so, praise God, so, uh, you know, praise God, so this is, uh, uh, this is it, you know, praise God, it says that, um, uh, that's it, so, praise God, so, uh, that uh, this, is, this is it. So this is uh, the final uh, thing, and uh, be eaten of the worms, and the Lord's face was uh, against Herod, what? For evil, praise God, not for good. You know, praise God, glory, praise God. So the eyes of the Lord was upon King Herod. You know, praise God. You know, it says his sin has found him out. His sin is caught up with him. Praise God, glory, praise God. He said he could, he's immortal. You mean being a, uh, a pharaoh or a, I'm sorry, a Caesar? You know, praise God. That's it. We'll forget. You know, praise God. It's just, uh, you know, it's, it's just a man. You know, it's just a man-made uh, position. Caesar. You know, praise God. That's it. Uh, you know, it's just, uh, you know, this is. Uh, uh, Caesar, you know, praise God, that's it. This is not uh, Little Caesar's uh, restaurant. This is Caesar, you know, praise God, that's it. The, the one that's in charge, you know, praise God, like a pharaoh, if you please, you know, praise God. So there you go, praise God. So, you mean, praise God. Uh, but, uh, you know, the eyes of the Lord was upon Herod, and you can see what he did, and boom, that's it. You know, that's it, Herod. You know, your days are numbered. You don't touch my anointed. You don't touch Peter or and James, praise God. You don't kill James and get away with it scot-free, you know, praise God. And this is what the Christianity, they think they can get away scot-free with anything because David did it. Oh, David did this, David did that. I get away scot free. No, you can't, because the eyes of the Lord is upon you, and his face is against evil, because your waste, your sin is death. It's hellfire brimstone. And once he sees you doing what you're doing, you know, if he's got you in your fornication with another woman that you shouldn't be with, other than your wife, or you're involved with uh, the world, uh, with uh, murders, with uh, deceit, with uh, uh, with uh, whatever out there, you know, if he's got you, sees you doing that you should not be doing, you know, if he's got the eyes of the Lord is upon you, but it's not upon you for good, it's going to be upon you for evil. You know, if he's got, so this is the reality of the uh, Bible. 
Bible, the King James Bible, you may praise God that's it, that the that the God and Father of the Lord Jesus Christ creates the good, I create the evil, I the Lord do all these things, you may praise God because the Lord could see I mean when man don't want to convert, man don't want to uh, turn around and then the word uh, my my word shall not return unto the void, you know praise God that so you could see that man was preached to and you don't want to hurt again. Okay, well now I'll set my feet my face against you to do evil, you may praise God until unless you want to repent, you know, praise God said then he's uh, giving uh, man space to repent, you know, praise God that's it, that uh, you know he's giving him space and when man don't want to do it, well that's it, his face is there to do evil, you know, praise God that's it and uh, you know so praise God. But uh, you can see that uh, when they don't want to uh, convert and they don't want to turn around, well that's it, you know, praise God. Now you get, now you've uh, got the uh, the Bible says is that the the uh, God in the fiery boot. No, praise God. The Bible says our God is consuming fire in Hebrews chapter 12. Praise God. And the Bible says that he's a jealous God. Praise God. So, you know, praise God. So there you go. Praise God. He's a jealous God. Just like the devil is a jealous God. The devil is a roaring lion seeking whom he may devour. But, amen. Praise God. Our God and Father of the Lord Jesus Christ is a jealous God. When Jesus said to fear ye him, that the power to cast into hell after he killed the body, he can cast your soul into hell. You know, praise God, glory, praise God. Let's read this in Luke chapter 12. You know, praise God. This is, this is what, you know, because the eyes of the Lord are running to and fro throughout the earth, his heart, heart is perfect toward him. You know, praise God, so, praise God. So, you know, praise God, we're uh, here in uh, Luke chapter 12. You know, praise God, it's in 12 verse 5. Uh, again, that uh, we have here in, in the King James Bible. Uh, it says, is that, But I forewarn you whom ye shall fear. Fear him. Which after you killed have power to cast into hell. Yea, I say unto you, fear him. You know, praise God. So there you go, fear him. You know, praise God. From Christianity, oh, God loves everybody. Oh, you can't judge. God loves everybody. God loves everybody. Oh, hang on. Without Jesus Christ, there's no love of God, period. Praise God. And say, love him. Praise God, you can only love him only one way through Christ Jesus now, praise God. But you gotta fear him. You know, praise God. That's it. If I if I'm a master, where's my fear? In Malachi, praise God. Said, well now no praise God, you gotta start fearing God. Praise God, the beginning of all wisdom is what? The fear of the Lord is the beginning of all wisdom, praise God. So praise God, we've got to start fearing God. Paul says, knowing the terror of the Lord, we persuade man, praise God. So course, praise God, man. And with what we're persuading man to get into the Bible. You no, know, praise God. So you start reading the Bible. Start understanding the Bible. Start understanding the fear of the Lord. Praise God. So go to praise God. But man, you know, praise God, it's, uh, there's no fear of them. You know, praise God, what it says in Romans chapter 3, the fear of God is not before their eyes. Their feet are swift to shed blood. And then, praise God, the, 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 they're frozen up in the Their tongue as it's poisonous as asps. And James talked about the tongue. You know, praise God, that's it. And, uh, and this is a uh, man out there, you know, that's it. They have no fear. You know, praise God, that's it. That's why they're out there killing each other. You know, praise God. And they're all killing in the name of God, and they don't even fear God. Praise God, they don't uh, fear God because they did. They would start obeying His Son Jesus Christ. They would start obeying His Word, but they don't fear God. You know, they just talk about God, let their little tongue go blah 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 blah. Talk about God, and just like the Christians like the hour like to do, and the Muslims of the hour like to do, talk about God. Uh, I've had one Muslim said to me, "Oh, we uh, we uh, love Jesus, and you love Mary." No, you don't. You call him a prophet, you lying uh, devil. You know, what do you mean you love Jesus? If you love Jesus, you know, praise God, you walk even as He did walk. You know, praise God. So if, you, if you love Jesus, you wouldn't uh, be able having time to love Mary. Mary because we're not told to walk like Mary because Mary, you know, praise God, uh, being the mother of Jesus, praise God that she's uh, dead and that uh, Jesus was the one who rose again from the dead, not uh, Mary. So, praise God, we're told to, to walk even as he did walk, praise God. So, if we're not walking like Christ, we're not walking up right of the Lord, we'll forget it. You know, praise God, this is, this is, this is what the, uh, the Bible says is that um, that uh, that uh, we got to walk even as he did walk, praise God. So, we got to keep his commandments. If you love me, keep my commandments, keep my words, praise God. So, it's, it's, it's reality. You know, praise God, what the Word of God says. Well, praise God. So without the Word of God, without the Gospel of Christ, the King James Bible, uh, you know, praise God, man cannot walk even as he did walk. You know, praise God. So this is what we're called to do. Praise God. So, but uh, man had the calling, and they, uh, uh, they uh, try to ignore the calling, or they uh, try to, you know, that's it, just, uh, uh, you know, do something and try to avoid the calling because a uh, man don't want to be persecuted. Man don't want to do what the Bible says. Man just want to uh, uh, walk in the darkness. Man would rather be uh, doing nothing because uh, the Word causes them to change. You know, praise God, we're going from glory to glory. Work causes them to do something that they don't want to do. You know, praise God, they don't want to serve the Lord Jesus Christ. She said, Man, love me, he'll keep my words. You know, praise God said, So they don't want to keep his words because they don't love him. You know, praise God, man, don't love Jesus. You know, praise God, they'll try to, you know, they'll, 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 they'll call themselves Christians and then uh, they'll walk out of his. Uh, uh, you know, just like the Father of the Devil is an angel of light, pretending that they love Christ, uh, Jesus, but in reality they don't love Him. You know, praise God by works. You know, praise God. Paul says, "Is this that uh, the reprobate?" You know, praise God. That this is what God sees. You know, praise God. That these people are reprobate. You know, praise God. The works they deny Him, being reprobate unto every good work. You know, praise God. So this is what uh, uh, they've been subverted. Uh, you know, praise God. Being condemned of themselves, man condemned of themselves, and God could see all this find what's going on, man. You know, praise God. And that's, and that's why His curses are right there. That's why God's uh, curses. Uh, God's uh, 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 
things uh, are right there uh, because of because man, I don't want to convert to the Word of God because God, so it's uh, uh, readily available. You know, praise God, that's it. And God can see all this, and my version not returned to be void. Boom, that's it. You know, that's it. My, I'm going to, uh, you know, I'm going to execute my word. I'm going to execute my judgment because they're refusing my son. You know, praise God, so it closed for God's reality. You know, praise God, so it closed for God. So we're told in the Bible to start reading the Bible. Praise God, we're told to get in the Bible. Start reading the Bible because the eyes of the Lord is running to and fro throughout the earth. You know, praise God, said, and if his eye is seeing something that you shouldn't be doing, if his eye is seeing something that uh, you know well that you can uh, that uh, you shouldn't be doing, and uh, you're doing it. Well, that's it. That this is what uh, the eye of the Lord is going to be doing. It's going to be after you. you no, know, praise God. That's it. And that, uh, and then that's it. And why words not turn to void? No, praise God. Said, praise God. So, and then praise God. So, and he's a just guy. He's going to do what's right. You no, know, praise God. He's not going to do what's wrong. He's not going to uh, uh, take the righteous and cast them to hell. No, he's going to take the wicked and the sinner, the ungodly and the sinner, cast them to hell. He's going to take those unbelieving, the uh, murderers, whoremongers, drunkards, fornicators. You know, praise God. Name it. The unbelievers. You know, praise God. He's going to take the homosexuals and the effeminates and uh, whatever. You know, praise God. And cast them into alive into a lake with burnt fire brimstone. Idolaters. You know, praise God. That's it. Uh, uh, liars of all kinds. You know, praise God. So this is, this is it. So praise God. How praise God. So and then praise God. So let's read. Um, let's read. Uh, let's read this. Uh, praise God. Glory. Praise God. In, uh, Revelation here. Praise God. Glory. Praise God. Uh, this, uh, this is uh, 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 a, a good teaching here. Praise God. That, uh, that, uh, that man need to understand from the Word of God. Revelation chapter 21. You know, praise God, close, praise God, man. And uh, in Revelation ch chapter 21, we read that uh, uh, that uh, uh, that uh, that uh, they saw the dead, small and great, stand before God. You know, praise God, praise, praise God. There are, uh, Revelation 20, there we go, 2012. Praise God, and I saw the dead. And I saw a great white throne, and him that sat on it, whose face from the earth and the heaven fled away, and there was no found, no place for them. You know, that's it. And I saw the dead, small and great, stand before God, and the books were open. And their book was open, which is the book of life. And the dead were judged out of those things written, written in those books according to their works. You know, praise God. So I mean, that's it. So these Christians don't want to work. You know, that's it. Uh, you know, I, I don't know what they're thinking. That uh, hey, we're not going to be judged according to works because we don't have to work. Well, okay, yeah, guess what? You're going to be judged because uh, you mean you're going to be judged because uh, you didn't want to do what the Bible says. You know, which is work. You know, for God says. So you didn't want to do the works. You're going to be judged according to your unbelief, according to your uh, uh, according to your uh, stubbornness, uh, according to your rebellion, according to your uh, iniquity, your witchcraft. You know, you're going to be judged by those things. You know, God says, according to your uh, Hardness of heart, you know, for God, so it's it. Uh, but you're going to be judged those things because eyes of the Lord can see, and as it's all written down, you know, for His God, that's it. That, uh, uh, you know, for His God, and He will not at all quit the wicked. You know, for His God, they're freed up their record in heaven. You know, for His God, the Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost. And these three agree in one. They're not going to disagree. You know, for His God, the Holy Ghost is not going to disagree with the Father. The Father's not going to disagree with the Son and say, hey, you know, that's it. That, uh, you know, that's it. That, 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 uh, that uh, this guy is guilty and our guy is going to be a hung jury. It's not going to be a hung jury in heaven. No, it's going to be a righteous judgment. You know, for His God, so these three are going to agree in one. For His God, glory, for His God, and that's it. And just like with Stephen, you know, I use that scenario with Stephen. Uh, because he was the man filled with the Holy Ghost and uh, could see the glory of God and uh, uh, Jesus stand on the right hand power of the glory of God, praise God. So this is uh, these three agree in one, praise God, which means he did not at all, uh, you know, disagree in, praise God. These three are bearing record. And these three are going to come to uh, uh, agreement, first God. It's not going to be a hung jury. It's not going to be one guy who thinks you're guilty and two more thinks you're innocent. It's not going to be 12 people or whatever. No, it's going to be, you know, first God, one agreement, one accord. No, that's it, first God. That's it. And, 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 and this is a solid, dead, small, and great, stand before God. And the books were open, and another book was open, which is the book of life. And the dead were judged out of those things which were written according, in the books according to their works. And the sea gave up the dead which were in them. And death and hell delivered up the dead which were in them. And they were judged every man according to their works. And death and hell were cast into the lake of fire. This is the second death. And whosoever was not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. Along with the who. Well, praise God, that's it. That, uh, uh, you know, praise God, it says right here that um, verse, um, 
uh, that uh, verse uh, 10, And the devil that deceived them was cast into the lake of fire and brimstone, where the beast and false prophet are, and shall be tormented day and night forever. And I saw a great white throne. Oh, praise God. So there you go. So those people will be uh, where the devil is and the beast and the false prophet are. Praise God. It said that in the lake was burnt full fire brimstone. And you'll have rest, no rest, day or night. Oh, praise God. Said. So try to go into your furnace. As I, you know, the scenario I like to uh, present people is, okay, well, look at your furnace, your gas uh, furnace uh, set at the most high setting and try to uh, go in there and see how long you survive. You won't. You know, you'll be burnt for crisp. You know, it's, it's, it's burnt to a little critter. You know, praise God. So that's it. So, you know, praise God. So, you know, this is what the Christianity, you know, praise God. That's it. That uh, they're burning already. Uh, on the, a lot of them are burning on the face of the earth with the, with the pains or whatever, non and pain and so forth and so on. God don't hear those sinners. You know, praise God, and they're reading their funny Bibles, but there's many tittles uh, uh, take note. You no, know, praise God, Jesus said, Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my words shall not pass away. If not one tittle of the law shall fail. Praise God, men are endorsing man upon the earth, uh, men are doing uh, whatever they can. You know, praise God, that's it. Uh, but uh, uh, they're not doing whatever they can to escape. Uh, the lake which burned for fire brimstone because they're sitting there with the lukewarm works. You know, for lukewarm works, I'll spew the out of my mouth. You know, praise God, that's it. And the Bible says uh, that, uh, uh, you know, that's it. Now, one till the law shall fail. And this is what men are doing, are just failing because they've got so many tittles failing. You know, praise God, they're walking after the Pope. And the Bible says in Luke uh, chapter 16 that they, that which is highly esteemed among men is what an abomination in the sight of God. Praise God, so good. Praise God. So this is uh, the reality, amen, praise God, of, uh, of, uh, of, um, of the whole thing, praise God. This is the reality, uh, you know, of uh, what's uh, uh, of uh, what's uh, going on. You know, praise God, glory, praise God, of uh, the uh, word of God, praise God. So, so it's, it's the reality, you know, praise God, glory, praise God. Leah. So I mean, praise God. It's uh, the lake was burning for fire and brimstone. You know, praise God, glory, praise God. So I mean, praise God. So uh, you know, we uh, uh, got to get into this word of God. It's very important that we start reading the word of God. We start obeying the word of God. We start uh, reading. This word of God, praise God, because if we're not reading this word of God, if we're not obeying the word of God, uh, you know, praise God, that's it. Uh, if we're not doing what best to the Lord, you'll serve him with a perfect heart. If we're not, because the eyes of the Lord is looking, you know, and the eyes of the Lord is always constantly looking, and he sees you involved with things, he sees you uh, involved with false doctrines, and he sees you, they know that uh, you've been taught, and uh, that you still uh, uh, want to uh, take uh, heed to the word. You've been taught, and you've heard the word, and yet you didn't want to take heed to the truth. You just want to go on with your own ways, because everybody else is doing it, or the church is doing it, or whatever is doing it, uh, you know, first God, then uh, that's it, then uh, his face is against you to do, to do evil, you know, first God, is not going to be there to, to do good unless you want to repent and turn around and you give it up, you know, first God, of course, first God, yeah. uh, it was uh, been kicked off with so many websites, and then first God, and a lot of them are no longer available, no longer around, because these people, you know, that's it, they kicked me off for no reason, because they hate Jesus for a reason, because lies Lord could see this, you know, first God, so I was preaching to uh, one guy uh, on the internet, and, uh, and you know, that's it, that, uh, you know, that uh, he, uh, you know, comes up uh, that uh, with this uh, false teaching that uh, oh, that uh, you know the whole base of Christianity that God that Jesus is God, false. That, that Jesus is the Son of God and He died on the cross for your sins, not God. God sent His own Son in the likeness of sinful flesh. You know, praise God. So what's wrong with these people is that they don't read the Bible. You know, praise God. So they read uh, funny books. They read their junk. You know, praise God. They, they, they'll, 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 they'll believe uh, junk mail before they'll believe the Bible. You know, it's reality. You know, praise God. They'll, they'll believe those funny books uh, of those uh, preachers, uh, the ten-volume encyclopedia set. They'll believe those uh, uh, those preachers' uh, uh, books and uh, preachers' uh, uh, fables and uh, Bible school studies and stories and so forth and so on. Then believe in the Bible. I know that preachers have a, a black book that they preach a few months worth of sermons from their head office so that they don't offend anybody and they come back to it every three months and so forth and so on. And then just just going around in circles, just like Sunday school, I mean, going around in circles. I mean, it's got a Sunday school and it's, uh, churches, uh, the dead doctors, the devils, the spirits going around in circles. You know, that's it. Uh, this is a uh, reality, you know, for these guys. So that's why they go these circles, square ranches and uh, square circle ranches or whatever they call them. You know, for these guys, we'll forget. You know, for these guys, so we got to go into the Bible. For these guys, it's Glory to God to walk even as did walk. You know, God. I remember I was uh, preaching to one guy, and you know, one guy would refute the scripture with something else, and then he would try to refute the scripture that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. He tried to refute the scripture. He doesn't understand scriptures. And people there that are blind or they were deaf, uh, I was preaching one day, you know, how Jesus is the Son of God, and they're deaf, and they said I was going around in circles. No, I wasn't going around in circles. I was sitting there telling them the Word of God, and yet they could not hear it, hear it because there's deaf. You 
know, praise God. So they don't have the ears. You know, praise God, glory, praise God. But, uh, you know, uh, once, uh, you know, every so often, you know, praise God, when the Lord knows I need help, he'll send in somebody, and somebody will come in and, uh, and say, hey, you know, he's right, praise God. Because sometimes we're in, entertaining angels unaware, the Bible says. But that's reality, praise God. So we've got to get into the Bible, the Word of God, because the eyes of the Lord are running to and fro throughout the earth. And praise God, and if he sees what you're involved with, he sees, uh, you know, praise God, that, uh, uh, that, um, it's not the right thing. Well, that's it. You know, praise God. The eyes of the Lord are going to be now upon you to do evil. Their face is going to be upon you to do evil, I should say. Now, his eyes are looking, and he can see that you're not at all being obedient to his word. No, praise God. That's why we've got to obey the word of the Lord. No, praise God. Says, the fear of the Lord is what? The beginning of all wisdom. You know, praise God. The Bible says, praise God. Now, praise God. Praise God. Praise God. You know, let's uh, look at one more scenario here where the eyes of the Lord, you know, praise God, can see, you know, praise God, that his face was against him to do evil. You know, praise God, that's it. That, um, and uh, let's look at what uh, he did with uh, King uh, uh, Belshazzar. You know, praise God, said, praise God, in, uh, in uh, uh, Daniel chapter 5, praise God, said, praise God. Belshazzar, the king, made a great feast unto thousands of his lords and drank wine before the thousands. Belshazzar, while he tasted the wine, commanded his to bring in the gold and silver vessels, which were the father of Nebuchadnezzar had taken out of his temple, which is in Jerusalem, that in the kingdom of his princes and wives and his concubines might drink therein. And he bought golden vessels which were taken out of the temple of the house of God that was at Jerusalem. And the king of his princes and his wives and concubines drank in them. And they drank wine and they praised the gods of gold and of silver and of brass and of iron and of wood and of stone. At the same hour uh, came four fingers of a man's hand, rolled over against the candlestick of plaster of the wall, the king's place. And the, and the king saw the part of the hand that wrote. And the king's con uh, conscience was changed, and his thoughts troubled him, so that the joints of his loins were loosened, and his knees smote one against another. No, praise God, said, clear, praise God. Now the eyes of the Lord could see, you know, praise God, that these people are drinking and praising the gods of gold and the silver and the brass of iron and the tin and wood, taking out the vessels out of the, out of the house of the Lord. You no, know, praise God, now the God could see this, and now his face is against him to do evil. You no, know, praise God, and, uh, uh, praise God, so we know that the king cried and uh, so forth and so on, and, uh, and finally got uh, Daniel, the man of God. But I want to bring this uh, part, uh, praise God, uh, praise God, to you. You know, praise God, it's at, uh, uh, verse 22, you know, Daniel 5, 22, and he said unto uh, his son, O Belshazzar, he said, Thou, his son, O Belshazzar, thou hast not humbled thine heart, though thou knowest all this, but hast lifted up thyself against the Lord of heaven, and, and they have bought the vessels of his house before thee, and thou and thy lords and thy wives and concubines have drank them. And thou hast praised the gods of silver and gold and brass, iron, wood and stone, which see not, nor hear, nor know, and the God in whose hand thy breath is, and whose are all thy ways, hast thou not glorified. Then was the part of the hand sent from him in the writing written therein. And this is the writing that was uh, written, many, many to call your parson, and interpretation of this thing, many, God have numbered the days thy kingdom have finished it. Tikal, thou art weighed in the balance and thou art found wanting. Perez, the kingdom is divided and it is given unto the Medes and Persians. And praise God. Then commanded the Belshazzar to clothe Daniel, scarlet, and put up the chain on his neck, and made a proclamation concerning that he should be the third ruler in the kingdom. And that night was Belshazzar, the king of Chaldeans, slain, and Darius, the Median, took the kingdom, being about three score and two years old. And praise God. Now his face was against him to do evil, because the eyes of the Lord could see that, uh, that the, uh, Belshazzar was up to no good. Uh, praise the gods of silver and uh, gold and of wood. You know, praise God and said, glory praise God and said, and that's why that the hand roll them on the wall. You know, be sure your sin will find you out. You know, praise God, many, many to call your parsons. This is the end. You know, this is the end of the line. You know, my face is now against you to do evil, King. You know, praise God. So, glory praise God. So, there you go. So, praise God. So, glory praise God. So, be not deceived, God, and I'll mock. Without the Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of Jesus Christ, the Word of God, man can do nothing. Man, praise God. The eyes of the Lord is upon you. Praise God. Make sure you're serving His Son. No, praise God. So, because it. And please, God, for the foolishness of preaching to save them, praise God, glory, praise God. So, you know, praise God, we've got to get in the Word of God today. We've got to get into the Bible, you know, praise God, because without the Bible, without getting into the Bible, you come up with your own ideas. There is a way to seem right unto man, but all the end ways to death, you know, because uh, death and life are in the uh, power of the tongue. And they that eat the fruit thereof, uh, you know, uh, they that eat the fruit thereof, you know, that's it, uh, shall, uh, shall uh, you know, shall uh, reap its rewards. You know, praise God. So the Bible says, amen, this uh, is uh, to uh, be not deceived, for God is not mocked. You know, praise God. It's a glory, praise God. So there's, we got to get into uh, the Bible. Praise God. Walk in the Spirit, and ye shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. Praise God. Glory, praise God. So let's get in the Bible. Start reading our Bible. So, you know, praise God. Glory, praise God. Evangelist Andrew Kelly telling you to start reading your Bible, the Gospel of Christ, the King James Bible. Amen. Hallelujah.